They are men and women who've done their time, but they carry a tag of convicted felon, and it's keeping them from finding work. So tomorrow, a group of organizations is trying to link these ex-offenders with employers. Local 12's Angela Ingram is at the Hamilton County Justice Center with their story. Angela? Well, Rob, each year thousands of men and women walk out of prisons and jails. They walk out of these very doors and they enter back into society after they've paid their debt to society and they've served their sentences. Workers want to make sure that they, when they're back out here that they have something positive to look forward to and that they do not return to a life of crime. Workers setting up at New Prospect Baptist Church are expecting a big crowd tomorrow. Chris Myers is happy to lend a hand. He once had trouble of his own getting a good paying job. I was there. I know what it's like to look for a job having a felony. That's like a big black X. Myers found a way to help himself after meeting with workers from Hamilton County's Office of Reentry. He connected with them through a special court that helps veterans with felonies. When I came to vet court, I was a mess. Since I now have a job and I now have a future coming back home from the military, uh, it's been a complete 180 degree change in me. Workers say the same thing can happen for others, no matter how they ended up with a criminal record. That's why they're joining with leaders like Reverend Damon Lynch to put on a research and job fair. The biggest part of it is employers. We really focused on employers that individuals think don't hire ex-offenders. So we have major employers. We have the city and the county. Deanna Hoskins says often the lack of quality jobs leads to a higher rate of violent crime, like what the city is currently experiencing. Hoskins says once people have done their time in prison, they need to have a good way to get a job. When I look at individuals returning 2200 a year to Hamilton County alone, that's averaging a little less than 200 a month. If we don't position people to be self-sufficient and successful, we almost push people back into a survival mode of crime. The group is hoping that tomorrow they can inspire others to make some positive changes. Just because you make one mistake and fall doesn't mean you can't get back up. It doesn't mean you're not a good person. It doesn't mean you don't have good intentions. It just means you made a mistake. And they are encouraging people tomorrow to wear their business attire and to also bring resumes. However, if you don't have those things, it's still okay to come down. They will still help you out. There will also be a representative on hand to help talk to some of these ex-offenders about the possibility of expungement and getting their records wiped clean. Reporting live tonight from the Hamilton County Justice Center, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Angela, thanks very much. The job fair is tomorrow at New Prospect Baptist Church. That's on Summit Road, runs from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m.